Wait, so what happens if there is a gap in a block string? Gaps in block strings are actually very common. When there is a very small gap, one where you could get counter hit if you press the button, we call that sequence of moves a frame trap. Let me illustrate with an example. When Bridget cancels 5k into 6k, there is a natural one frame gap in between each move. Our opponent hit, after getting hit by 5k, will actually recover before the 6k hits, and is able to do stuff in that one frame window. The problem is that because it's only one single frame, if you tried to do an attack without invincibility, such as a throw or 6p, he would be struck by 6k during the startup of this action. Natural frame traps occur a lot in fighting games, but we can also create them artificially by using late gatling cancels, such as close slash gatling into far slash. This is normally gapless, but if delayed properly, we can create a variably sized window that can trap an opponent trying to press. Frame traps are rarely invincible, so your opponent can often use the gap to attempt a high risk, high reward option to beat the second trapping attack. In order to do this, they have to have an attack that is invincible in some way to strikes, such as a dragon punch from chip, some supers, and even bikens parry. 